Well, here's a look at the old toilet. So what happened was this pedal broke uh, when I did my overnighter with my dog. And I replaced the pedals, but when I replaced the pedals, I noticed that the steel braided cables were weak. Well, went out on another trip and went to flush and the steel braided cable broke. So I decided I'm just going to replace the whole toilet and call it a day. So my apology for the mess here, but I've picked up a Dometic toilet, picked it up on Amazon. I'll make sure to put a link in the description box. So this is what the new one looks like. It's got like plastic shavings in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing installed. One thing that I thought was pretty cool is this thing is pretty light. Right here on the bottom, you can see that it comes with a flange seal. So very cool. Just looking down inside there, but I'm noticing the inlet for the water goes right here where the other one goes up up high up here. So I'm going to have to kind of plumb this thing in to get it to fit. I don't think that'll be too bad though. But this thing has a pedal. You push this pedal down like about to there or so and it turns the water on. And then when you push it the rest of the way it actually flushes the toilet. So very cool. So no need for two pedals anymore, and it comes with everything you need. Now to take the old toilet out, I have one little screw on the side there. And then if you come to the other side here, you'll see there's another screw there. So it's very similar to the flange bolts that are on a standard toilet at your house. And then of course on the back side, if you look, well, I don't know if the camera is showing it or not, but if you look up there, Hopefully you can see the plumbing. That's that's what I'm going to need to undo. That pipe right there. Let me go ahead and turn off this water. Right here. On the back side here. I'm just kind of feeling with my hands. I don't even know where I'm at here. I hope the camera's showing it. <laughs> I'm just feeling with my hands. So there we go. We are disconnected as far as the water is concerned. So now it's just a matter of these two flange bolts, one on each side. This is a half inch. So we're just going to take these off. There we go. One on each side. There we go. Now let's switch on over to the other side here. Half inch on this side now. Okay. Uh, not enough yet. A little funny with that uh, camera right there. enough. Oh, we're getting close. There we go. All right. Now we can get this nut off. Both nuts come off. So there we have both nuts taken off. Now at this point we have both nuts off the side. We have the water off the back and we can lift the toilet straight off of the flange and we have a new sill with the new toilet but I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this plumbing so once I figure that out then we'll set the new toilet down and finish the project okay I'm going to go ahead and cut this pipe right here this will make it a little bit easier for me to put a fitting 
on this pipe. Now, as you can see, this is the way the pipe used to look, and I cut it there so I could take that sample to the hardware store. I picked up a couple parts that I'm gonna use to fix this. The first part is a shark bite. So this is half inch PEX to half inch national pipe thread. It's gonna pop on just like this. So here we have the shark bite. Now this fitting will go on fairly deep. It should go on to about here. So I'm just gonna put that bad boy on. And let's make sure that we're getting it all the way on then looks like we got it exactly where we need it so there's the shark bite make sure that you have a nice clean connection here a clean straight cut not an angled cut or anything like that and just squeeze that bad boy on and these fittings work very well okay let's see about taking this old piece off here Get all this junk out. Pull these old flange bolts out. See if I can get those guys off. There we go. Got the old flange bolts out. And we're just going to trim all this off and get this flange nice and clean. Ready to put the new gasket down and seat that brand new toilet. So it looks pretty good so far. Uh, I do have a little bit of a concern about this silicone that they got in here. I think I'm just going to take that out. Don't know why they put that down in there. It was kind of messy. Have a nice clean toilet flange. I think that's just left over from when they put that toilet in. But now I have a good clean surface and I'll be able to put the new toilet in. Here are the new flange bolts. I'm gonna set those bad boys in, just like so. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of silicone just to kind of hold them into place. Not that I need to do much here. I just wanna put a little bit on there. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit to hold them. I don't like them wobbling around and stuff. That's really all I'm gonna do there. And of course, you don't have to do that with the silicone if you don't want to. That's just something that I that I think I'll do. Most people probably don't do that. Okay, so you can see that the new toilet already has the sill on it. So this sill is just going to sit right there on the toilet. I'm just going to pop the toilet in and get it installed. So let me see if I can get a decent angle out of this camera. This is such a small space, so it's kind of hard to film. Just hoping that you guys can see what's going on. So we will get this toilet laid down right on top of them flange bolts. There it is. There's both of my flange bolts. I have flat washers. I've got silicone all over my hand here. So I have a flat washer for each side. It's going to go on top of the flange bolts. And then of course, one nut for each side. It's going to go right on top of the flat washers. And then fr from here, we'll just tighten this bad boy down, make our water connection in the back, and then we'll be set. Let's go work on the other side a little bit. There we go. Now I have these little caps. They go right on top of the nuts. One on each side and then the water connection. So I ended up picking this one up. It's half inch pipe on one end and half inch pipe on the other end. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one installed. Okay. I already have the connection here onto the toilet. Now I just need to connect it to the shark bite. It's a little bit difficult because there's not a lot of space in this little bathroom. So bear with me on the camera work here. I'm just gonna thread that down onto the shark bite. Okay, 
get it nice and finger tight and then I'll bring a little set of channel locks and I'll snug it up just a tiny bit. Don't want to turn anything too hard here. And that should be plenty. And now it is moment of truth. We're going to turn on the water, see if we have any leaks around the shark bite. I don't see any. And then around this connection here, I don't see any leaks there. So now let's take a look at the toilet. So this toilet's very easy to, to use. You just push just a little bit here with the foot and it gives you water into the bowl. And then when you want to flush, you just push it all the way down and it opens it up and it lets your stuff fall. So this toilet is officially installed. Well, folks, that's about all I have today for you in this video. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you found it useful. Please feel free to thumb up this video. Feel free to leave comments down below, like this video, and in the description box down below, I'll put a link to where you can find this toilet, just in case you might be interested. And this was a pretty simple install. So with all that being said, folks, again, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Now I can flush my toilet. I'm happy.